Hi and welcome to Angling View. Today you join me at the fantastic Mexican Sands on the Swan Pond and uh, we've obviously shot a couple of videos that you might have seen already uh, but this t this one's a, a video that we've never ever covered before. It's something I don't fish very often but sometimes it can be a little bit of a laugh uh, to experiment and it can actually be quite a deadly um, method to try and what it's going to be is fishing the method on the pole and you know method fishing uh, is as, as you know is very dangerous and very deadly and when you cast to another sort of island or a feature effectively you're fishing a margin at the other side so what we're going to do to replicate that is fish down at our margin uh, by using this in conjunction with uh, a margin pole now there's quite a few things and tips that you need to take into consideration when doing it because obviously the the weight of the feeder and things like that and it's important that you gear your gear to sort of handle those kind of things but we'll go into that when we're talking when we've got the pole but what i'm going to do now is get the ground bait going so we've got some special g uh, any sort of method ground bait is fine but special g is what i've got with me at the moment and simple ways of doing it as you would normally do now we don't i know a lot of margin fishing we want the fish uh, the, the sort of ground bait to be super heavy and you know in this case we're putting it in a feeder we don't we don't need it to be super super heavy it needs to be able to come off that feeder we are going to mix some micro pellets through the ground bait to also give a little bit of texture and hold the fish down on the on the deck um, and then on the bait as a bait we're going to be having a quick stopped corn and it's going to be hopefully quite devastating now you can see this is brought up in and it breaks down what we're going to do is leave that sort of five minutes allow that absorption of liquid and then we'll come back to it um, with a magic of editing and add that additional water that needs to be added to it uh, and then we'll riddle it through and we'll talk about why we do that and well then we'll get uh, the rig set up and get fishing right guys so you can see it's it, it's gone quite dry now um, and that just means that it needs that little bit extra water into it and then we can mix that through and get a that riddle involved and get a lighter ground bait you've got to wait for your ground bait to absorb a lot of people mix ground bait up and then go to fish it and you've got to le let that absorption uh, so it's to mix it up while you're tackling up come back to it and let it absorb while you're messing about and then come back to it and then you'll have uh, to add that extra additional water now what I've got here is obviously a riddle, it's a standard riddle and uh, a tub to put it into and what we're going to do is put that through and you don't always have to do it, say if you're fishing down edge and you're, you're um, just potting it in and you can have it wet, you see all the, the ones that have held more moisture, you just push them through um, you, if you're cupping it in and it's wet and you want it wet and you want it to sink down then that's absolutely fine, it's not no issue but what because we're putting on a feeder what you want is to aerate it a little bit by putting a little bit um, of riddle and just allowing that moisture to be distributed you know through it correctly and uh, that's what we're doing here those bits that have over wetted a little bit that's no problem for me today because they're going to go in that bucket because i'm going to make that into paste later on so that's not a problem so that can go in there no bothers and then when we've got we're lucky we've got a nicely riddled uh, bait when we can squeeze it and it'll load on the feeder and then it's going to break up really nicely and that's what we need for this method today and this special g um is really good for that and you know i have a lot of confidence in the marine alibut and green swim stem is great for this but also this special g works really well as well similar sort of color and flavor uh, we're gonna add some micros in it we'll join you on a box and uh, we'll see if we can start catching some down here. Right guys, so we're here on the peg now. I will obviously come up closer in a little bit uh, to show you the rig. Um, but essentially, it's a small Jira banjo and two quick stopped corn. And it's just 020 all the way through to the Dacron. And I've got 18 to 20 elastic um, hollow. I'm just going to put some pellets 
into this ground bait mix. I've had some mixed up from before, from another video. So I'll we'll put those in there. I'll just mix them through. So we've got like sort of a nice even mixture of pellets and ground bait. And uh, then we'll get one hooked on. So once we take this hook out of the towel, because it's nice and sharp as KKMB, we'll uh, get going. Now you might see that I've got a little cad pot on there and, and that will become apparent when I uh, feed this out. So it's obviously not going to take a lot of bait in here. I've put already some ground bait out there, just some over wetted stuff. The stuff basically that you saw that was left, uh, what we'd riddled, um, that's what I've let, I've got. So I'm not squeezing it on too tight because we're not. it's not as if we're throwing it out. And what you want to do is just make sure the line sort of comes away from the side of your pole tip and just drop that feeder into the little cad pot. And obviously we're using a smaller feeder today. Um, you don't have to, you can use a big feeder if you want. But the reason I do a small feeder is we're going to be in and out. There's going to be plenty of bait going in there. And we don't want to um, have 30 grams worth of weight sort of hanging off the pole. Um, I am using a margin pole. You could do it with a good power kit and a, and a decent enough sort of pole, uh, this method. But, you know, we've beefed up. We're 020 and, you know, we've, we're not messing about. But we've also got sensible elastic, you know, thick elastic. We are in the margins. And we're also beefing it up. Now, all I'm doing is keeping the line taut. It's dropped in and in the peg. I'm keeping the line taut. And to register a bite, I'm just literally waiting for the elastic to pull out the pole uh, when the fish picks up the bait. Getting dinked all the time. You're just keeping a, a tight line. There's no floats, no nothing. To it, you effectively like you uh, see the feeder, um, the tip of the rod go around. We're looking for the same. Um, it'll either be a really strong yank on the pole, or it'll pull out the elastic. It's just about keeping that that pole, uh, that line taut, and that allows the feeder to to rest on the bottom. Got a little bit of a side wind today which is making it a little bit of a pain. And there we go. We're into a fish. And you saw there that it, it just took the light it took took the elastic out with not any bite obviously indication other than that. And it's obviously not very happy about it because it's gone way out into the middle of the pond. But like I say, we've got strong gear, 020 um, line and uh, 18 to 20 hollow. The only, the only negative side to this, is what I would say, is if this does ping off, you are going to get a feeder coming at you at top speed. So probably good to always keep the keep an angle anyway, but make sure that if it does come off, it's going to go over here and not directly at your head, which obviously won't be a good idea. Oh, we nearly had him <laughs> in and out the net, and he's in this time, and he's a nice fish. And with pretty much not a lot of drama, we ended up in a nice fish. Hooked perfectly in the top lip. That small hook, I just need to nick that out. Like so. Get the, uh, the top kit out of the way, I'm going to set that. Drop that down there, because if you drop that in water, knowing my luck, it'll be off with top kit, and we've already had that incident today, so we don't want that again. Um, so, nice start. 
not the most pretty looking uh, faces but a decent a decent enough fish let's get him back and uh, get this reloaded and see if we can have another one so fo follow that same principle just a little bit of, of bait and then trap that trap that hook make sure your line's free and just drop that into uh, your little your little cab pot so obviously these fish were were straight on onto the feed and with you did, like you saw there's no need for no striking no nothing it just takes the elastic and uh, swims away let's go back down nice and gentle drop that feeder in and then just tighten your, your pole tip to it there we go again see that nice, nice gradual pull out of the elastic and it's just effectively like your, your tip going round you know when you're picking up your, you're picking up the uh, the rod you just the same but picking up obviously the elastic and the tip of the pole so you're seeing again we're, we're moving it away just 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 in case that that feeder comes off just in line with matt behind camera and uh don't feel like a big fish this one but again we have got strong gear on so it's um it can more than handle what what we've got on see if we can do a bit better job of netting it this time So not 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 a big fish this time but all welcome after we get this fishing what I'm gonna do is get give you a little bit of a close-up and you can have a little look at the, the rig a little bit better Right, so the rig itself, let's just get it all back to normal. So what I'll do is I'll stay within this zone here and we can see it. So it's not anything dissimilar to a normal feeder rig and effectively the, it is identical to a feeder rig. Uh, we've got the, the small 15 gram uh, Durabanjo on a stem and we've obviously got the normal top sleeve and then the line, the, the O20 running through to a Preston feeder bead and it's got a small hair uh, with a, sorry, a, a small hook link with a size uh, four, uh, 16's MCMB and it's got a, a hair big enough to put two corn I just put, I had one corn on that one actually but you could have, um, you can have two or you could potentially if you put them side on get three on there and simply on the needle slide that on and it's that easy and in regards to loading it what we're doing is just putting a little bit of feed in and the bait on top and just I, I put it underneath sort of underneath and, and squeeze it on now the good thing about the Jura banjos is they've got holes on the back so when when it goes into water it floods it and comes out quite quickly so you do end up getting a lot of um, water through and knocking it off pretty sharpish so we move that to these obviously this little uh, cad pot we've obviously put the the thing in the, uh, the the feeder in there i have the line over the other side of the pole so that's the way i'm going to tip it and when we get it back onto to the pole itself And again, it's just about being nice and steady, methodical. 
and you can see it's not even bending the pole tip um, as much as you you know you would do if you you set you cupped out a sort of cab pot of bait you know with a pole cup it's um, and that's down to just using that small feeder you don't need the big feeders once you've potted in and got a bit of bait in there you don't you don't need the big feeders that you know the little ones are absolutely fine I mean it's good practice sort of after a little while to, to maybe put a, a, you know a bit more bait in unless it's just one a chuck then you can you can go and put a little bit more bait in if you want to and there that straight away that, that took the pole tip to another fish now and swim straight out the peg I don't feel like a particularly uh, big fish but oh, this is just a small cruising by the look of it no it's not it's a, a koi it's a nice fish to catch lift that up for camera it's how beautiful a little little koi it's getting back in the water and then uh, see if we can catch another Straight into another fish this time. It's a little bit big, bigger stamp. It's not nothing absolutely massive, but perfect elastic straight out. But you've got to be quick with these. As soon as you hit that elastic, you need to be steering them out of your peg. Just want to put a bit of angle on that. You don't like it when they, when you've got a feeder on it and they they put in there, uh, and it potentially can come back and nail you in head. This one pulling a little bit harder, which is always good. Still going out, uh, out there. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit of line on it. I still don't think it's a particularly massive fish. No, just sort of three pound um, sort of range. But still going for it. It'll be one of these little commons. Yeah. These little commons, they don't half go for it. Got some power they have. And you could use um, an elasticated feed if you wanted on some venues. Um, preferably, I like them to be in line. If something breaks, that's if your main line for some reason broke, you know that you're not, they're not tethering a feed around with them. And uh, it's obviously better for the better for the fish. Nice little common, soaking me through as as well. Oh, the hooks come out in the net. That's what we like. It's always a bonus. Let's get him back. So guys, um, like I said, a completely different method that I don't really fish very often, um, but just a little bit of a laugh, a bit of a good time, and uh, you know, something different if you, you're fishing a particular snaggy peg or you fish, you're getting a lot of foul lookers, just a different way of doing it, and you're just introducing exactly the same rig as a feeder, but just being able to lower it down sometimes works really well. So thank you for the, the support as always. Uh, John is on those live feeds at seven o'clock on Fridays on the Facebook. Um, great interaction and sort of a uh, bit of a laugh on a Friday night. And again, on the uh, live feeds 
at eight o'clock on Fridays on the Instagram angling underscore for you. Uh, we can just continue the same and pick up the people that are not on Facebook. Um, th like, share, subscribe, share with your friends. Just keep building this uh, channel to help aid people and al allows me to obviously share as much as I can do and as much as I can get out. So thank you. Until the next time, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Tight lines. Thank you.